While Elizabeth Hurley has made an impact on our screens for decades, one of her biggest impacts has been advocating for women's health. This October, the Estee Lauder Company's breast cancer campaign is celebrating its 30th anniversary. And as their global ambassador, she is here with more. Welcome back. It's good to see you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I mean, so 30 years, I mean, this is a milestone uh, to be part of this campaign. How have you seen the campaign make a difference in the time that you've been involved? Well, it's extraordinary, really. Uh, I've been on board for 27 years, and Evelyn Lauder, who started the campaign, and with whom I came onto this show yeah. some time ago, um, she asked me to join her with the campaign she just started, the breast cancer campaign, and she told me why. And she said, because at that time, back in the 90s, no one really talked about breast cancer. There was no pink ribbon. Yeah. There, was, there wasn't breast cancer awareness month. It was a completely different landscape. And she wanted to change that, and that's exactly what she's done. So the last yeah. 30 years have been about spreading the word, raising funds, for research, watching the amazing breakthroughs that have been made by the research scientists, and also just how people have been educated about breast yeah. cancer, really. And that's that's the biggest change I can see, the fact that we now talk about it openly. Right, because I think when you had when you had first started with Evelyn, um, your grandmother had passed away she of had. breast cancer, and like you said, nobody was really talking about it. So do you remember what the goals were in those initial years? Like, we just, we just want to do this. And yeah. obviously it's surpassed it was, uh, probably it, what the goals were in the beginning. It, well, absolutely. First of all, there was so much on awareness because when we went on to television to talk about breast cancer, nobody ever had. Yeah. No one had said the words breast cancer yeah. out loud. No one had encouraged women to go for their mammograms. Nobody had taught women really how to self-check. It just was new. Yeah. There weren't products being sold to raise money for research. But of course, so we were always two legs. It was always awareness and funds. And, you know, the Estee Lauder companies have raised more than $108 million in that time yeah. for breast cancer, mostly for research, but also for education and for other services. And, you know, it's just something we're not going to stop. So even though things have yeah. really improved since then, so mortality rates have decreased by over 40% yeah. since then. But one in eight of us, and I know you've been touched personally too, yeah. will still be diagnosed with breast cancer. Yeah, I mean, and I guess it's not... It's not the diagnosis that we used to think of it no. was, you know, that it was... A death sentence. A death sentence, and now it's really changed. I mean, obviously, you know, you, you know so much about this. You're not just the face of it. But I understand that you actually go to the laboratories. You, yeah. you find out about the research. Yeah. So where are we in the state of prevention right now? Well, I think people know... The, the real difference that I've seen is that when I talk to some of the research scientists, they said that 30 years ago, they used to, when, when a woman would come to them who'd been diagnosed, their cancers would be bigger and they'd be late stage. Now, because of the awareness campaign, people are, are treated much, much earlier. Yeah. Hence, they can live a lot longer. Yeah. So I really think it's things like that have, that have made the big difference. And when, it's so impactful when they tell you something like that, because it, it emphasizes what we've always said, early detection saves lives, right, you have right. to do that. But also just talking to the research scientists, they say they will find a final cure for people because they can already cure many breast cancers. Yeah. Back then it was just called breast cancer. Now they know there's so many different types of breast right. cancer, all of which respond to different types of treatment, right. which they didn't know. Before the medical research was there, they didn't know that. Right. So, so there's so much more. So they said they will be able to do it. And it's just time and money. And the more money there is, the quicker the time will be. Yeah. Well, you know, this is not the only place, the only thing that you're doing. You're very busy. You're also the new face of Karen Millen. Yes. Uh, what was it about their clothes? I, and I wear Karen Millen yeah, as well. So what was clothes. it about their clothes that you thought, you know what, I really want to be part of this? Well, you know what? It was a British brand. And I really like it when High Street works, when it's both sexy, but you can wear it to work. Yeah. And, it, and they're really lovely things, beautifully put together. So it was a pleasure to... To, to do that for them. I yeah. liked it. You're going to be back on the screen too about Christmas time and be doing a Christmas movie. What can you tell us about it? I do. It? It's called Christmas in Paradise uh -huh. and it's me and Kelsey Grammer and Billy Ray Cyrus all on a Caribbean island and it's actually a very heartfelt family story at Christmas. Yeah, oh, I love it. Well, that's what, what Christmas movies are good at, the heartfelt stories. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for not only the research that you do and everything you do for breast, breast cancer, but also for stopping by and talking to us about it. Thank you. And for more information, visit elcompanies.com slash breast cancer campaign and follow hashtag time to end breast cancer on all social platforms.